going on a diet, you're trying to burn fat, but it hasn't really been working out, I've got really good news for you guys. Your answer is the 72 hour long fast. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew Fillion and today we're going over just exactly how we're going to do this. So what is really going on here? Got five pounds of fat. I want to lose it. You want to lose it. But often what happens, we either get stuck in a really tough diet or we find that we're just not able to move the scale. When that happens, that's when it's time to do a 72 hour fast. So what does that really entail? Well, it's simple. Fasting is just the restriction of food. Think about your body being like a bathtub. You fill the bathtub with water, and then up here, you've got a water spout. Down here, you've got the drain. Let's say you open the drain. Boom, water starts going out. But up here, we still have water flowing into the tub. Well, if we turn the faucet and cut off the water, now you just have a bathtub with a drain and the water is flowing freely out of it. That's basically what a fast is. You restrict all food and your body is going to have no choice but to burn body fat. So how many calories does it really take? Well, the consensus is about 3,500 calories is one pound of body fat. And this right here is five pounds. So if we do a 72 hour fast, you can expect to burn about half of this. And if you do two of them, that's five right here coming off your body. It's incredible. I love fasting for that reason. So before we dive into the details of fasting, let's cover off who fasting is for. Let's cover off who it's not for. First up, fasting is gonna be for anybody trying to burn body fat, specifically body fat. Whether you are slightly overweight, very overweight, or you're actually pretty lean and you're just trying to break through a plateau, fasting's perfect because it restricts all calories. And so you're going to be burning body fat, whether you're this size or that size, doesn't matter. Across the board, you're in fat burning mode. But who is fasting not gonna be for? People that are trying to put on new muscle. See, when you're calorie restricted like this, having zero calories, that means you're not getting in any protein. You must have protein to put on new muscle mass. So if you're fasting, it's going to completely negate that. So if you're someone whose goal is to get bigger, have more mass, I actually don't recommend that you do fasting. And for that reason, I actually don't recommend intermittent fasting either because you need to have protein synthesizing as much as you can and as often as you can to put on new muscle. But if putting on new muscle is not your primary goal, then let's get right into why you should be fasting. A pound of fat has 3,500 calories. So if we can fast and burn 3,500 calories in one day, we can guarantee ourselves a pound of body fat for every day that we fast. If you fast three days, 72 hours, that's three pounds of fat. So how do we calculate this? Well, first, we gotta know your basal metabolic rate. That's essentially going to be the amount of calories your body requires just to stay online, just to stay alive. So if you were to do a 24 hour fast, and you literally had no activity, just laid in bed 24 hours, did nothing. Your basal metabolic rate is going to be how many calories you burn that day. So how do we get the basal? Well, there's gonna be a few different formulas online, but since none of them are 100% accurate, I'm gonna go with my best recommendation, which is to just take your current body weight in pounds and multiply that by 10. So for an example, I myself am 185 pounds. If I take my body weight, multiply that by 10, I end up with 1,850 calories. That's gonna be my basal metabolic rate. If you're 200 pounds, you're gonna be at 2,000. If you're 240, if you're 250, it's going to work. That's gonna be about where your basal metabolic rate is. Now, if you're in Europe or somewhere that's not the United States, if you're working with kilograms, it's gonna be the same formula, but we wanna multiply by 22 instead of 10, and this is going to account for your kilograms. So if you're a 100 kilogram male, you multiply that by 22, you're gonna end up at 2200, which is about what we can expect someone who weighs 220 pounds to be. So just keep that in mind, depending on where you're from, 
you can do it either way. Now we know our basal, how are we gonna account for the rest of the calories so that we can get to one pound of fat? Well, walking is gonna be my preferred option because walking is a low intensity cardio that you can do pretty much any time and it is for as long as you want. Why I don't like doing more intense cardio while fasting is because more intense cardio is going to burn out your electrolytes faster. And when you're fasting, we wanna be careful about our electrolyte balance. That's why I prefer walking. But if you do want to do running or elliptical, things like that, stick around because the next section of the video, I will be covering electrolyte balance. But just to stay on topic, walking is going to burn for most people between 90 and 110 calories per mile walk. This is all going to depend on your body weight, of course. Let's just assume it's the middle ground, you're getting 100. Every mile you walk is 100 calories. So for me personally, knowing that I'm at 1850, I'm gonna try to walk between 12 and 15 miles every day that I'm fasting. That's gonna get me to about 3000 calories. And I can be pretty sure that those next 500 calories will be made up with two activities. The first is gonna be my weight training. And the second will be NEAT. NEAT is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. It's going to be anything from like steering the car, brushing the teeth, typing on the computer, or whatever else it is that you do during the day to make up your like 18 waking hours. That would be NEAT. Usually it counts for two to 300 calories. The next thing is going to be weight training. For me, I'm going to guess weight training is around one to 200 calories. It's not much, but it is more than zero. With that, we run through the numbers, 1850 plus the 1200 from walking gets us to about 3000. Take my NEAT, that's about two to 300, plus my weight training. We can reasonably assume I'm getting pretty much a pound of fat per day, maybe even slightly more, especially if I walk a little bit extra. I'm able to burn a pound of fat a day. If I do this for three days, I guarantee myself three pounds of fat. Now I know a lot of people have a burning question. What about the muscle mass when you're fasting? Well, it is gonna be true while you're fasting, you do burn a little bit of muscle, but something that we can do to help prevent that is to lift heavy. Try to lift as heavy as you can while fasting. And look, I don't have the science or the studies to necessarily back this up, but I do have this. So this right here is my men's physique overall champion trophy that I get through my natural body competitions that I do and I prepare for these shows by fasting. This trophy right here is living proof that what I'm talking about does work even if I don't necessarily have the studies. I'm going to take this as evidence enough. So while I'm fasting, my preferred exercise is going to be the farmer's carry. The farmer's carry is going to help me stay activated throughout the fasting period by putting an enormous amount of stress on multiple different muscle groups triggering to my brain that I need the muscle. It's going to encourage the body to stay burning fat. So with that, just to recap, who is fasting going to be for? It's going to be for anybody trying to lose body fat. Whether you're very overweight, slightly overweight, we're already in good shape, but just trying to get to that next level, for example, a natural bodybuilder, fasting is going to be the best way that you can strictly burn fat in a short period of time. I still would not recommend fasting if you're trying to put on new muscle. But before we close the video out, this next part is very important. If you do fast, you need to make sure that you're being responsible with your electrolytes. See, when you start fasting, you're going to pee a lot. When you pee, you're going to be peeing out electrolytes. We need to replenish these or else we're going to suffer severe side effects like nausea, muscle cramping, heavy brain fog. These are gonna be really bad things, especially if you're doing something like operating a vehicle. So make sure that you are being responsible. We need to get salt, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Now the magnesium and the calcium, we're not gonna pee those out as much, so don't worry too much about those. Just get them in a daily multivitamin and that's gonna be fine. But for potassium and salt, we wanna have a ratio of four salt for every one potassium. So that means if I'm gonna be getting one teaspoon of salt, I want a fourth teaspoon of potassium. You can get both of these in a crystallized form that you can scoop out. Salt is easy, table salt. Potassium, you can get no salt at a grocery store or just go on Amazon and order a 
potassium, fine grain, no salt. That's what they call it. And that'll work for you. Just make sure you get this multiple times per day so that you maintain your electrolytes through your fast. The last thing we want is you having really bad side effects, especially in a public place that you could put other people in danger. So with that, we're gonna wrap things up. I'm a massive fan of fasting. I'm coming off a 72 hour fast myself. So I am kind of living the evidence that this stuff works. You're gonna hear me talking a lot more about fasting as I further approach my bodybuilding shows competition date. I'm going to be incorporating 72-hour fasts pretty frequently from here on out. If you did like this video, make sure to actually hit the like button and also subscribe. It really helps me grow this channel. I'm also taking one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, so if that's something that interests you, in the description of this video below, I have my contact information. Just send me an inquiry through my email and I'll make sure to get back with you. I'm going to start figuring out what works for you. So with that, guys, I'm going to leave this here, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Ooh. <laughs> that actually kind of hurt. <laughs> yeah, this thing's crazy, man. That was just gross and... Never get old. Never gets old playing around with this thing.